Today I'm going to be talking about Siren Head, which is one of Trevor Henderson's most popular creatures. Let's dive right in. Physical Description Siren Head is this creature, and is pretty well known for how massive it is, standing at around 40 feet tall and having sirens on top of its neck, where a head should be. This thing is pretty recognizable. Its arms and legs are disproportionately long and skinny, and its arms are almost as long as this entire body. The hands of the siren are bony and crinkled, and are typically down at its side. On its shoulders, where a normal neck should be, is a long skinny pole that functions as its throat. And it's on top of this pole where the two sirens are. Around its neck are some thin black wires that coil up to the speakers on the top of its neck, and these wires run down the body, into the body, and around the abdomen too. Simply put, this thing is terrifying. Behaviors and Origins Siren Head is normally found in rural towns that are out in the middle of nowhere. The sticks, the boonies, the boondocks, whatever you call it. And it was first sighted in the Arizona desert of 1966, when a family that was actually on a vacation took this first known picture of Siren Head. But it's thought that Siren Head might have been here since the dawn of man. Who knows? This family was actually at a graveyard at dusk when they glanced over and saw the creature lurking in the darkness. Some think Siren Head isn't from our reality and is some sort of reality-shifting entity that uses the Earth as its hunting ground. Some think there's only one Siren Head, and some think that there's many. But what is known is that Siren Head is absolutely terrifying. This creature can emit static from its head that makes an unfathomably loud sound. And the sound itself isn't of this world. It can also be used as an attack mechanism by Siren Head itself. And victims of this entity have often been found with burst eardrums or bleeding gums, all of which are signs of intense loud noises. This creature is very fast and very hostile, and its coloration allows it to blend in with the darkness and the trees pretty well. Its entire aura is cryptic and dark, and it feels like you're not supposed to be looking at it when you see pictures. The main victims of this entity are hikers that have been found deep inside of the wilderness. It lures these victims by imitating noises specifically someone yelling for help or someone yelling that they're injured. After it makes the initial sound, it'll walk deeper and deeper into the woods until no one can hear your terrified scream as you look up and see this thing staring back at you. The creature is thought to be able to change and adapt over time and that it never looks the same, just similar. Hunting Tactics This cryptid hunts by standing completely still, as I said earlier. It lurks in and behind the trees and stands as still as one. At the same time it does this, it broadcasts noises from its face to lure victims in. It's not known that the siren head hunts in order to eat, or just for the thrill of it all, but either way, it's creepy enough. Some think that when siren head gets a victim, it takes that victim's voice and adds it somehow to its own library of sounds. Others think that it just hunts for sport. When Siren Head does lure someone close, it often makes other loud noises to conceal the screaming of this unfortunate victim. The fact that it has to hide the scream, however, might mean that it's got some sort of weakness. Because you think that something this powerful wouldn't need to hide its dirty works. But who really knows? Typically, it uses a stalking type of method to hunt. But it's also theorized that sometimes Siren Head can use certain types of sonic blasts to wipe out big groups of people. On its two feet, this creature can run 25 miles an hour, but on all fours, it's estimated that it can run around 250 miles an hour, which is extremely fast, if you didn't know. Power and Abilities Acoustic Kinesis is the main ability that Siren Head has. It's the ability to mimic voices. This is how it hunts and lures its victims deeper into the wilderness before it ultimately strikes. Its next power is heightened strength, which obviously means that it's strong. There's been strange broken trees found and bodies maimed in very strange ways that are thought to be related to siren head attacks. There's also things like track innovation, which is the ability for it to blend into its surroundings, things like enhanced speed, which is being really fast, and other things that are very similar to these. Siren Head was first written in 2018, but since, it's absolutely blown up. 
and to spawn games, lore, and thousands of videos, just like the one you're watching. It's actually one of my favorite cryptids that I've read, especially because the Siren Head entity might have existed forever. And I really like things that can play into history like that. But to me, it wouldn't be too far-fetched for this thing to be real. Many times in history, there's been weird things heard in the woods that can't be explained. Whispers from behind trees, weird shapes seen moving during the early discovery of the Americas, who knows? Things like eels, swimming birds, alligators, sharks, deep sea creatures, they all exist, so it wouldn't be too far-fetched for this to exist either. Alright, I hope y'all enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. As you can see, I did try a little bit of a different narration style, a kind of more chill and relaxed version, rather than this normal version, but uh, let me know which one you like better. I find that the relaxed version fits the video style of creepy stuff more, but if you do like this more enthusiastic, normal tone, then uh, I'll do it next video and from then on out, because this is how I normally talk, but it depends on what you like, and I'll do what you like. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you later.